welcome back to Anderton's TV. It's Yo. Ben here, and I am joined once again by the fantastic Mr. John Connor today. Digital John. Gentlemen. How's it going? Back by popular demand by three people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and today we are looking at something very new and exciting to Anderton's. Um, yeah, these are Solo King guitars. And just, you know, let's get this out of the way. If you want to check out any of the particular models, go to the Times timestamps rather below in the video skip ahead to the one you want to see if you want to watch all of them then do that as well um, also you could be the winner of a clon centaur a real one not a fictional one not a fake one that they flog on ebay for loads of money a real clon million subscriber so do that if you haven't already um, what else oh yeah like and subscribe right back to what we're doing so looking guitars um, there are three models that we've got today we've got this one here which is the ms1 classic uh, and we've got another model here, this kind of T-type. This is the MT1 classic. No, MT1 modern. The MT1 modern. And the one there with two humbuckers uh, with a kind of S-type, that is the MS1 modern as well. So these are as well an Anderson's exclusive. So you can find all the details on the Anderson's website. So Ben, tell me about the one that we've got here. Yeah, absolutely. So again, we're talking super up-spec S-type guitars here. So we have got as opposed to sort of some various other non-branded pickups, you've actually got some branded hardware on this, which is really mm -hmm. cool. So yeah. these are Allen Entwistle pickups. Um, again, just HSS combo. So for all you lovely fusion-y type people out there, this one's for you. Wilkinson hardware, mm -hmm. stainless steel frets, and even better, locking tuners on the back for all your quick restringing once all your strings are rusty after not changing them for yeah. three months like me. For top end of 200, 300 odd quid, it's uh, quite yeah. wild that you've got all that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, there's not many other guitars on the market no. that will give you that spec for that price point. And again, with the humbucker, you have got core split mode yeah. as well. The S-type model, so the one that I've got here, the classic, again, is your classic five-way switch as well. Um, so something you're going to be used to. There's an older body on all of these models, as well as roasted maple necks. Again, really super premium features. Uh, no corners cut, really. Um, and even on some of them, we'll get to these later, but there's finer details like flame maple reveal binding and very nice little additions, even like abalone inlays, stuff like that. So they feel really premium for less than, you know, 300 quid really, which is bonkers. Anyway. So just give you a bit of a clean tone now, just uh, on the neck pickup. Nice sound in position three, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. it is really nice. Mm. Really quacky sort of. Mm. goes quite telly-ish yeah, you know? so like when it. you actually split that humbucker so that's it just full humbucker it's quite clear as well yeah, yeah. which is nice, nice. And you're going to get that from the end whistle pickups anyway as opposed to anything non-branded so that's definition is lovely but yeah you do get that Okay, so let's hear some more kind of crunchy sounds. Uh, I'm going into a Victory Kraken Mark II, the fresh one. Uh, let's take all of the modulation stuff off, as fun as it is. Uh, so, at the minute, I think I'm in the clean channel. Yeah, clean channel, so it's kind of still a bit compressed, but let's add a protein drive. Again, I can tap that. It's 
Still feels nice and full, like it doesn't get shrill or kind of too thin when you yeah. tap that, so that's cool. Um, position four, so again, single humbucker, middle, single coil. <laughs> Nice and bright and spanky, very not flow. My, one of my favourite sounds. Uh, middle pickup. <clears throat> An acquired that's taste, nice. middle pickup, but that's yeah, nice. That it's is good fun. Yeah. Position four. <clears throat> Just sounds like P4, <laughs> sounds great. Uh, right, next single coil. So I've got to play around the 12th fret for this because you know, that's what you've got to do. I'm also going to add a bit of something. Let's add reverb. Bit more gain maybe. Gotta say, another thing I was kind of getting lost there, but these bridges do hold their tune in pretty yeah. well. Uh, again, for a 300 quid odd guitar. Yeah. Um, At the end of the jams, we were pretty much every time giving them a fair it. bit of a dive bomb, and you think, oh, they're going to be horrendously out of tune, but yeah. it was not too bad. Actually. Which is bad of us. Like, we shouldn't think that. Yeah. But uh, again, for this price point, you sort of have those things in your mind anyway. But um, so that's how it sounds. Um, other things, like you've noticed by now, probably no pickup rings. Super premium mm. feature. Again, this price point don't really have that, but makes a big difference. Yeah. I like to kind of have a pinky finger around the bridge pickup anyway, and it feels a bit clunky when you've got a pickup ring on it, and just feels nice. Feels like you're not playing a, you know, less than 500 quid guitar. Really cool. Yeah. The pickups also look really good. They do. They yeah. do. They're very clean, and a nice little Alan Ent whistle logo as well. I kind of like that. Also, we didn't talk about the models. So these are Dark Star humbuckers, I believe. Um, in all of these, and the single cores, which have a bit more of a Ibanez-y name, <laughs> XS62N models. So um, yeah, again, they'll be on the website. So uh, right, let's have a look at the next model. Yeah, I let's think. check out some yeah. other guitars. Let's do the T-types. So now we've got two MT1 moderns in a very nice kind of hot blue color over there, and uh, over here in this kind of sunburst flame maple top, which looks very expensive. Uh, and around the side, I mentioned this earlier, you try and get that on the cam, Oz, but uh, we've got some flame maple reveal binding as well there. Uh, and it just looks super premium and a nice yeah. little back plate as well here, which you know you might not have seen. Um, and sorry, I'm kind of just throwing specs out here, but whilst they're in my mind, they're a D-shaped neck. So they're very agreeable in a good way. Um, and they're kind of, the setup's very uh, modern, yeah, I would say, it is. which I quite like. It's not too like thin, but it's again, agreeable. It's very easy to play, um, doesn't fight you too much. And let's hear some sounds. So I'm going to do clean this time. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll do some reverb. Let's turn off the tuner. Nope, turn it on again. <laughs> <laughs> Starting on the bridge pickup. Again, this is the Dark Star Humbucker. Both of these are. We've got a push pull for this, but for now, let's just do Humbucker. <laughs> Works pretty nicely, let's tap it. Nice and spanky, does the telly thing. Kind it's of. worth pointing out actually as well, like you'll hear it through the mics, but in the room as well, you don't actually get any real volume drop with the splits Good point. as well, which again, on some affordable guitars, Sometimes you will hear if you're going into those in-between positions, if you've got a particularly high output humbucker or whatever, That's a good point. you're going to get a bit of volume drop, but this is actually really usable Yeah, as yeah, well, which they is are. Nice for once. <laughs> and not, not shrill or thin or, you know, no. a bit of kind of, yeah, weak sounding when you tap it, none of that. So let's go on position two. Again, these are three-way on these, so this is going to be both humbuckers. Let's play something other than A chords. Uh, let's go E. One of my favourite sounds when you tap a bridge in the middle um, and you've still got this kind of split but not split sound. So, cloudburst. Uh, 
uh, good fun. Right, let's now go on to the neck. So neck humbucker. So kind of warm and jazzy, but not like rolled off and too dark. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Nicely balanced. Um, could do the kind of funk thing, I'm sure. Yeah, still got enough bark and bite for that, but I kind of... It makes you want to play a little softer, which yeah, is quite nice. Yeah, like play my finger straight away, um, which is cool that like, you want a guitar to do that. You want it to make you play differently and kind of inspire you to do different stuff. So um, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of this guitar. Um, yeah, do you want to play some more distorted stuff? I'll do some gamey stuff. Whack on Sheriff. <laughs> I split that bridge then you get it's nice and clear I think that's mm. usually the real test with a lot of humbuckers yeah. is how does it actually handle the game structure and yeah that sounds great I mean, it's not. I, I quite like how dark it is. Like when you tap some humbuck, especially the bridge. Like if you imagine a strat bridge, it's very brittle, and you wouldn't usually do high gain stuff no. with it. But you would on that. That's totally usable. Yeah, so. brilliant. Um, does it chug? Does it chug? Actually, excellent question. Let's add more gain. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. Without the reverb, <laughs> but um, yeah. Sight. Yeah. Sight. <laughs> Sight. <laughs> um, middle position now, so it's going to get a little bit warmer again. You usually do more lead stuff on this. Take the Dane off. Yeah. It's nice. It's got really great sustain. Nice on it balanced. As well. Yeah. Again, if you split it. Then up to the neck pickup. And again, splitting it just for some slightly more single coil esque tones. And pickups actually uh, i think these are great like i'm kind of hearing these kind of for the first time today and, yeah um, i'm very happy with how these are sounding in the room at least so what do you guys think put it in the comments uh okay final final model yeah let's, let's, do, absolutely, it. let's do it so the third and final model of this magnificent bunch of guitars is the ms1 modern again very much like the the t-type model here it's sporting this fantastic reveal binding which I'm sure Oz will do a great job of capturing there. And these brilliant flame maple tops. Um, it's worth pointing out these are a veneer before you get your hopes up. Um, but they look, when you've got this reveal binding, it looks fantastic. You yeah, wouldn't, yeah. I think it's the important thing. It's You're not gonna notice this at a distance or whatever. And, and really like, if it's a veneer, it doesn't really matter because it has the effect of, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> like who cares, yeah. really. Like, um, other things we didn't mention, the truss rod cover. Sorry, yeah. the truss rod adjustment wheel, rather. Dead accessible, nice and easy. Yeah. Just people have thought about that kind of thing with these. What else? They're kind of very similar to the, the T-Moderns, mm. but 
yeah, just kind of, if you like a double cut away, this kind of S type shape. It's not really a super strat vibe. It's kind of in between that and, you know, yeah. uh, a bit of both. But, and yeah, so we've got no push pull on this. In the same way with the classic, uh, we've got a toggle for the split of the humbucker. Um, and a three way, as usual, tone, volume, nice and simple. It's kind of, any more controls would be too much. So. Yeah, they look great. They do look great. Yeah. Um, yeah, matching Chrome Harbor all over. String tree, keeps everything nice and in check. Um, and they're just great. They feel, feel really, really good. No kind of accessibility issues. I've got big, annoying hands and get up to the 20th, 20 seconds? 20, 20 seconds second. for it. Nice and easy. So yeah, let's hear some sounds, I think. Yeah, I'll do clean this time. Why not, eh? So start off on the uh, neck humbucker position. Split it here. Go into the middle position, no split this time. And this is probably my favorite position, like on the T-type when you then split the two mm -hmm. humbuckers in the middle, it just sounds. Then onto the bridge humbucker, so again, nice and barky. Yeah, really usable tap, yeah. good sound that. Um, sweet, okay, now let's get some drive on it. Let's do the fun part. Oh. I should, whoa, <laughs> there we go. So nice and rich yeah. uh, on the bridge, <clears throat> let's tap it. Really bright and articulate. Spanky. Spanky, That's yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you could slap on it. Right, yeah. middle position. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll keep it up. <laughs> non tapped, so both humbuckers. <laughs> Cleans up. up. Yeah, that's yeah. really nice. Uh, neck, humbucker. Again, kind of a bit more saturated. Plenty of sustain there as well. Yeah. So um, I can't get over how clear the neck pickup is. I mean. Yeah. When you're doing some pretty like out there voice things as well, it's kind of, you hear every note, which is... Even under the game, when you're playing a full chord, it's yeah. not common to actually hear in a guitar at that price point, all that definition in every note of that chord, yeah. but those pickups sound great. They are, yeah. Brilliant. Nice job, Alan. <laughs> well done, Alan. Um, yeah, we, at least we love it.
Mm. Okay, so just round these off. Check the links below for pricing, full spec, all of that good stuff. Again, this is the MS1 Modern, MS1 Classic, MT1 Modern down there. Uh, we've played through a load of tones. Uh, obviously, get one, try one out for yourself as well. Visit the store, buy one even, try it out. But um, yeah, Ben, thanks again. Thank you. See you in the next video. Subscribe. <laughs>